Hello everyone, it's time to do some trimming on yet another one of my ficus bonsais. Let's take a look. Like many of my bonsai, uh, pre-bonsais or seedlings, this one was originally a branch cutting off of uh, the original mother tree. And it's about uh, a couple years old in training. It's got more than tertiary branching at this point and it's still got more uh, refinement uh, work to do in order for it to become more ramified. As you can see some of the branches have become quite lengthy uh, can definitely be trimmed back and placed in a better position. I will also be putting on some wiring as well as uh, to clean up some brittle uh, roots, surface roots around in the bari. I like how the root spread um, looks at this point around in the bari. Um, it's uh, certainly more exposed than some of my other trees um, that are just as young. Uh, but as I was doing the actual cleanup, I realized some of these um, are quite brittle and they easily break off and that's what I had to do to uh, remove the ones that are already dried up. The lowest branch on this tree is in a good position as first primary branch. It can use some thickening which will require a couple of years of time before it will look proportionate to the rest of the tree. Hi Bobo, hi buddy, and let's see how the tree looks after the haircut. Here we go. So the upper part of the tree definitely looks tighter, um, denser. Uh, I didn't need to trim off much, as you can see, that's all I trimmed off on the turntable. I'm gonna let this first primary branch grow, and therefore I didn't cut it. I simply wire and bend it down. Uh, because the more you cut it, the slower it uh, it will thicken. I'm going to let it grow unrestricted. I got ahead and cut off all the brittle dead um, roots around the nabari. So there's not as much surface root showing now. Uh, just a much cleaner nabari. This tree's been wired before, so I simply continued its um, bend out theme up top, as you can see, and place all the sub branches into a uh, better, evenly spread out position. And from this angle, you'll see that this bunch of branches are definitely starting to come into its own. Uh, more, it's more clustered together forming a nice growth path. Here is a close view of the Nabari. As I mentioned before, it's uh, much more cleaner now compared to before with all the dead brittle branches um, up top which I had um, uh, had to cut out and pulled out. There's quite a bit of wiring scars and uh, cut marks on this tree which uh, should heal up in uh, proper time. I don't bother to remove my wiring anymore on the uh, branches anymore because uh, these ficuses, they grow very fast. You know, in a matter of a uh, year or two, those wires will simply disappear even if I just leave them on the tree. The bark would just, uh, you know, grow over them and, sim and simply eat them up and the wires will disappear. I still haven't fully decided as to which side is going to be the front of the tree yet. Either this side 
or this side is definitely the best viewing angle uh, dictated by how the Nabari looks. Um, so that's why I'm spinning this round and round to see what are, you know, the best um, angles. And even if one side doesn't work out in the future uh, on these ficuses, uh, things can, you know, the design can easily be changed or tweaked. Uh, they grow so fast that uh, even if you don't have branches where it's desired, uh, an artificial one can easily be introduced. Well, thank you for watching and here is the before and after.